Now then, here we are. Me and the mutt. Oh no. I've traded the mutt today for a goat. <laughs> here he is. You do know what a goat is, right? Oh, git. <laughs> oh, git. That is it. Greatest of all time. Move. That's right. what a goat is. Greatest second, of all time, mate. Second greatest. Who's the greatest? Dave's one camping. Oh, there we go then, mate. Rest yeah. Respect and all that, yeah. All right. Anyway, we are here in the beautiful Lake District. We've uh, just set off from, where's the bottom of this? It's Martindale. Martindale, that's right. And we are heading up onto? Um, up there, Beta Fell. That's right. And he's, Beta, I don't know. he's not been up there and camped, so it's like the first time I've ever been anywhere that he's never camped before, so. Because <laughs> you've pretty much camped on everything, aren't you? Just about. Legend, absolute legend. As I say, a goat, greatest of all time. We've turned you around, look at that. We have got some nice snow in the background and we're heading up, probably not into the snow because it's not that high up here, but anyway, we are on for some more beers because we've already had one in the pub. And uh, yeah, just a nice night, chilling out and just taking it all in. So yeah, looking forward to a couple of beers and he's uh, already been a bad influence, obviously taking him to the pub, but also, He's given me a 10%er. I deny everything. <laughs> so we'll see how we get on later on, eh? He hasn't quite got four legs like Blue, but look at him. He's flying up there he's like a proper fell runner. To be fair, it is a bit slippy here. <laughs> Just having to watch our feet a little bit. And it continues. Look at that. Path just sort of winds its way up the side of that hill. Not a bad view though, mate. Look at that. Yeah, stunning. Absolutely stunning that. to the first cairn here. Oh, look at this, barren wasteland. <laughs> it's horrible. It is horrible, yeah. is that? It looks like it goes nowhere, that's the thing. <laughs> and the light is definitely fading. You can see the sun just pretty much gone there. So we're gonna have to get these tents up somewhere. Nice and safe. It's Made it though, mate. Look at this big smile. This is what getting outside does to you, it makes you smile. <laughs> That's to hide me real face of grimace. <laughs> this time of evening. Look at that. Anyway, the fact that it is getting dark means we need to find somewhere to pitch a tent, so. Whistle as you're working all that. Here we are, we found somewhere to pitch. It's not a bad spot, a little bit of shelter from this little hill section here. And we are sort of on the leeward side of Bederfell. Bederfell. I don't know, we don't know how to pronounce these names, but uh, anyway, we will get pitched up. Andy's going to sort himself out there somehow, and I'm going to just pop down there. But it's not a bad view, really, down the, into the valley there. All's water. Nice view, that, lovely. Yeah, can't complain with that. Anyway, let's get this tent up. Yeah, I'm filming now. Uh, I hope people know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> the tent, I mean, the tent. Yeah, the tent, all right, mate, yeah. Right, we are in and fairly toasty. Jacket's on, got my down bottoms on again because it is bloody cold tonight. Definitely gonna be well below freezing. I've got the Rab Alpine 600 sleeping bag here and I'm on my Thermarest X-Therm. With my seat summit pillow, which I've had for many, many years and it has done me proud. I've never needed anything else but that. Well, yeah, pretty much sorted in here. A few bits sort of laid about, I've got since you're coming out with Wardle, we've got a bottle of white wine here because I'm having fish for dinner. I have got just the one Hazy Jane, which I swapped out another one 
because this is what he's given me. Look at this baby. Northern Monk, heaven, 10% an imperial stout, chocolate, vanilla and maple. <laughs> Sounds like a proper pudding does that one. Anyway, let's get out and see what the old goat has got. Tent tonight for me is the Abisco Light 2. It's done me proud many a time. If we just uh, venture over here, I'll have to put more light on for you. Wind chill minus six. Wind chill minus six. He's oh. testing it on his old Kestrel. Already. Well, it's minus six with a wind chill. But yeah, he has got the black label Solo, which to be fair, it is quite a sexy tent. I do like it. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? Yeah, that's right. I'll sell you. I'll swap you for the dog. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, no chance. <laughs> no, he's worth a few, a few more of them, I would have thought. Right, get on, show us your sleep system then. Right, so, double-sided foil mat. Right, as I've always said, the difference between that and that is just unreal. That's reasonable, but I have done it in the past. Sea to Summit, Extreme, something or other. That looks well comfy, mate. Aye, oh, it's like an airbed. Sea to Summit, Aetherlite XT Extreme. I don't even know what it's got. Rab Ascent 1100, which is lovely. And that's my uh, flex tail pillow, which I got free. Nice ergonomic thing. It's lovely, it's dead comfy, that. It does look pretty comfy, definitely. And that's it. Yeah, so I'll keep you warm, man. Oh, yeah. In that black, black label as well. Look at that. That's what you need. Oh, beers. Let's beers. get on them. What do we have here then? Salt brew and cork glide, that's lovely that one. Yeah, well, IP is and that, that one there's it. The same as your chocolate. 10% uh. Ah, chocolate stout. <laughs> that's gonna be fun later. North Brew and Co. Invisible Cities, lovely. Nice, I've had that. Oh it's nice that one. They do some good stuff them, North Brew and Co. Definitely mate. And then just the rest normal. Oh, I always have a juice forsyth like. Always have Never a juice had one. Forsyth. I'll have to have a taste of that. It's lovely. Peaches. Hey, so there's a few beers there. I've got a bottle of wine, so yeah. It's not that many, there's only six. <laughs> <laughs> not many for you, eh? No. Oh well. Mr. Chef. Eating well, drinking well, sleeping well. That's what it's all about, mate, isn't it? That's, awesome. why, that's why we spend £11,000 on gear. <laughs> <laughs> to, go, yeah. to go camping. It is true, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh well. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Your first try, because of germs. <laughs> what? Cookies. You're immune to everything now. Oh, I am. You've been around the block. I think I am, to be fair. I never get ill. Oh, that's well nice. Peach flavour, bit of mango, juice forsyth, Morrison's, yeah. That is good, is that? Two pounds. It's just, um, it's like tango or something almost, isn't it? And then it just, it's a bit too nice. I've, I've yeah. went through a few of them once. It's only like it's six percent. Is that six or five? Five. Oh, five percent. Yeah, so it's quite, it's quite refreshing. And so we are you, we are on um, a Ew. place that you've never camped before. I've never camped here. Isn't that weird? Because mm. you know that piss tape video I did up when I started out being up there, being, being you. Up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I've, I've slept there. I've camped here. <laughs> well, it's literally true though. You've actually been everywhere, haven't you? Mm. <laughs> Proper legend. It seems like that. Feels like. Yeah. There's loads of places I've got to go though. Loads of places. Where's on your list then? I'll take the camp on Ben Nevis. Yep. Yeah. So in, in a bivy bag. Oh, you can't pitch a tent up there, can you? No, I, I slept in that cabin at top because it was that deep snow outside. Just to get dug in and mm. I'd have struggled. So yeah. Bivy would be awesome up there, yeah. So that's worn. The other one was um, on top of Sullivan. Which oh, climbed up Sullivan there. Sullivan or Sullivan or Sullivan, yeah. eh? I climbed up there one time, me and Eddie, and it was mint. And when we got to the top, it was a surprise because it's a big plateau. It looks dead pointy and just yeah. looks ridiculous. But when you get to the top, it's a big camp flat. Oh, God, aye. Loads of people camp up there. Yes. It's a massive big flat plateau. 
you've been up there never so i've climbed i've walked it yeah before. have you done the cmd around yeah, about? i was just i was with my mate and he wouldn't do it Really? Yeah. It's actually not that bad, I would say. He wasn't a ridge walker. Yeah, I, I wouldn't really advise it in winter. <laughs> I've seen, um, what do you call them, Murray, Scotland Mountains. He did it once, didn't he? In the ice and that. And he made it, he just made it look easy. I've seen a couple of um, parts of his videos, but I haven't really watched him. Mm. Oh, he um, some good videos, is not he? He shouldn't say that because he's in competition with you, isn't he? For yeah. that award. <laughs> the award. His videos aren't that good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right. This voting stopped, mate. Don't oh, matter. It? Oh, well, yeah. really I don't know what the results going to be for that. <laughs> but you never, you never know. But when you're um, a small channel like mine, <laughs> up against the big boys, it's. I think he's only got, he's only got like fifty thousand subs. Only. Only. That's, I mean, that's still, some. It's some hard work is that to get to that. Definitely. He might, he might have a few more, but his videos are just class. I'll have to have a watch then. Who else to watch then? Um. <laughs> that is it. I yeah. don't even watch my own videos. I can't stand to watch my own videos. I actually watch my ones through yeah. when they first come out because right, I need to I'm, make sure that everything's right. When I'm editing them, I'll, That's listen, the only thing. I'll listen for inappropriateness and then edit it out. I'll put a sound <laughs> effect over it. Yeah, so pretty much it, it goes from like an hour down to about 10 minutes. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Yeah, dear. So much you got to cut out, isn't it? Aye. But it's just, it's only because. I mean, it's nothing bad, it's just bad language normally. I try not to swear. I get the odd one slipping through, especially when I'm at wee rap. He can't control himself. He's got he's a bit the, of a tongue on him. Oh, he's the worst offender of all him, like. I've got about three hours footage of rap, which can never be seen. <laughs> it's just in the uh, depths, hidden away. Constant swear stream. Really? All these new words. Oh, brilliant. Listen to this weather, man. Yeah, it's proper snowing, like. Oh, no. There's only a few channels I really watch, but, or religiously. Um, like, I won't miss one of yours. I'd always watch yours. No, why? Um, and I'll comment on yours as well. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> no, as if, absolute legend, this guy. It's all made up rubbish. Are you still filming? Oh, yeah, I'm filming, mate. Oh, yeah, did you yeah. nice. I'll be cutting the most of this out as well. Did I not swear? No, I think oh, you did all right. Okay. Like watching your videos, I always like your videos because they are, they're just real. You're like, you do not mess about. You don't try and make it look good or anything like that. But you put some out there that's actually just realistic and entertaining because it's you. It's just a video. And no, there's nothing to make it anything else than, other than just you. If people watch it, that's fair enough. But if they don't, my, you've got memories there for me you know what I mean yeah yeah and my family and the kids <coughs> I mean yeah. if, pe if people want to subscribe and that and that's brilliant it's nice but that's why I you get the occasional comment that's like I've had um, a probably two or three where it'll just say like you talk too much <laughs> I just think oh that's me that you know but like this is my channel I'm doing what I want to do and you know how, how can you be that rude to actually comment that you know what I mean? It's like, so what's the point of it? What's you know something I mean? else? What's the point of saying that? Yeah. It's not like you're gonna, oh, well, I'll, not, I'll not talk so much then. <sighs> like if I'm watching a video, right, and I'm thinking, oh, this is me good, I'll just knock it off. You know what I mean? I won't comment, and I won't give it a thumbs down, I'm just turn it off. Yeah, exactly. Just, you know, if it's not suited to you, you're not gonna be suited else. to everyone, are you? I have had a few people complaining about this. But I don't get nasty at old back, it's just, right, whatever. It's you. What a duck's back, mate, every it time. It really is. If I was younger, I probably would have took offence. But now it's like... And kick the table over. Kick the table <laughs> full of sausage rolls all over the place. That was a great story you just told me. But now it's like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm literally not bothered at all. But, you know... Can not be? You can't I, have thick I've, skin doing this, like... Yeah, and I'm very... Uh, what's the word? Drunk. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy doing what I want to do, you know, like this is my life and, you know, if I choose to film it and put it on YouTube, then that's for me, really, and if people enjoy that, then great, but if they don't, then, yeah, jog on, you know what I mean, I'm not, really doesn't bother me, as you say, you just flip it off if you're not interested. Actually, sometimes when I get negative comments, I actually quite, I enjoy that, I think, well, yeah, that's good, that's good that people speak their mind. 
if to get personal and nasty then that's need yeah. for that like no completely I've never, I've never had that personally I've seen it in a few other people's yeah. comments and I thought there's no need to say that I've had people saying to me like oh, oh why, why are you going to hill drinking loads of beer I'm like well that's what I do that's what I want to do I don't drink through the week so I can binge drinking on a Saturday and it's never dangerous if I'm on the edge of a cliff I'll not drink but I'm never rarely on the end of a cliff but I'll never put myself in danger, like you know what I mean. Well, like if I've camped in a storm or anywhere, you know, that potentially there is, you know, a chance of danger, I won't drink. Because, like mm. I said in one of my videos recently, I said I'm I'm only having one because I need to keep my wits about me. Yeah. Just in case. You've got to bail out. Well, yeah, it. completely. Because you know, if you've had a few, then you might struggle. But the snow's coming in a bit now. I'm starting to wish I was in the car now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's some massive snowflakes, like ridiculous. Oh, don't they get on your nerves? Look with, at that. With the left-wing opinions. Oh, them snowflakes. That's proper snow, that. It is, isn't it? If it's really freezing below zero, it'll not snow. If it's really cold? Mm. It's got to be, it's got to be... Do you know, do you remember Jasper Carrot? Obviously you do, don't you? Right. But um, he did that uh, sketch where he, he was talking about his nan or something and she, she'd always say, like, um, it's too cold to snow, <laughs> and then he, he was going on about it, like going about the Arctic and stuff. Like there's absolutely tons of the stuff. I, thought I, was just, I remember going to Holy Island, taking some photos. I love that place. It was it was going to be a love nice it. starry night. I checked the forecast, dead clear night, risk of aurora. So I went up, and it was about eight o'clock at night, and I was standing where the bloody the shelter is on the causeway. I was standing there, I was taking some photographs like of me in it, I was doing some self timers. So I'm standing in the shelter, looking all wistful out the sea, and there's lots of stars. Good picture, like. But it was absolutely freezing. And the, the causeway was like a sheet of ice. And I came down the stairs to go back to the car, and I went whoop de doo, really? went straight over here. Yeah. Right, touch more wine. Quite enjoying this, really. Nice chatting, mate. Yes, thanks, all right, it's good. We've got a lot to say. We've got a lot to say, haven't we, yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. Most of it's rubbish. It's complete rubbish. Oh. Best way to be, in it. God, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't speak if I didn't talk rubbish. <laughs> Go on then, what's your dream dream sponsor? Dream sponsor. Who would it be? Nike. Nike. Oh, that would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Imagine that, I. You'd be, be, just do the, like, onto the richest company or something. I could just imagine that. You, next to Michael Jordan. A big think... Lamborghini with a big Nike stripe on the side of it. <laughs> You're definitely in the same category as Michael Jordan. Drink Nike beer. It's mint. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan gun. What does mint mean? <laughs> mint. Why do you want mint beer? Yeah, brilliant. The dream sponsor for me would be Hillyburg, I think. That would be pretty awesome. That's who I think and to be fair, be you've it. represented them well. Yeah, they don't do sponsorship, do they? I don't know. Yeah, they don't. They don't need to. Their brand sells itself. The reputation they've got, it just sells itself. The hype. Yeah, you don't need salesmen. You don't need salesmen. No. Not from a channel like mine, anyway. You probably need a channel with a few million subs to get them to bother you and you'd have to be going out to the Arctic and Everest and all that kind of thing them sort of I, I actually think that Hilleberg would I think they'd be scared to give me a tent because you smash it because I smash it and they'd be, it might, <laughs> they'd be like oh actually it doesn't stand up to all that well I've got the world out because I did actually break a Hilleberg tent boot That's so I'm good. winning oh there you go I'm winning at life yeah totally mate like proper <laughs> respect for that who else has broken a Hilleberg? That's it, nobody. If a tent's pitched right, most of the time they're going to be all right, unless it's a cheap crap thing. Just about any tent, right, if it's in the ground, like properly in the ground, then it's going to stay where it is. And even if the poles break, you've still got the, you know what I mean? Some over the you. cover over you. Yeah, it'll keep you safe. It'll not blow away sort of thing. Yeah. If it's pegged properly. Because I had a message from someone saying, oh, uh, what would your advice be on buying a... Um, 
a budget four season tent. And I was like, I don't even think the word budget fits with four season. No, I don't think it's right, is that? Don't. No, exactly. You need to buy something that's going to at least have a chance in it. If you're planning to go out in weather that demands a four season tent, then the words budget and four season don't go together. You've got to pay the price for it. Yeah, definitely. Otherwise, it'll just fail and you'll end up dead. Potentially. Or worse. Potentially. What, what's worse? You could end up in Sunderland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get paid uh, for that, aren't I? Dear, brilliant, mate. I went to Sunderland Uni, so I know about the Mackhams. You know what? And, uh, I'm not even sorry for saying that. Geordies, that's brilliant. I'm not that? even sorry. That is honestly hilarious, mate. You're blown away to Sunderland. <laughs> Where to be we? fair, I think there's a lot of other places in the world that are probably worse than death as well, so yeah. Please. Speaking of that, though, <laughs> I've got to say that is my, I think that is the best moment on YouTube. And that is you when you're camping. And uh, your mate Mark, he's had a few too many. Gets in his tent and his feet are sticking out at tent. Oh yeah, when we <laughs> with his red in. trainers on or whatever. And oh my god, the red yeah. slippers of doom. That is just brilliant. We were tried moving it. We was dead weight, man. We couldn't shift him. We tried to we tried to get him in the tent. Yeah. Main stalker couldn't move him. He ding was, ding dong, that, the witch is dead though. Honestly, absolute I dead actually weight. proper laughed out loud for that. That was brilliant. <laughs> absolute brilliant, mate. Yeah, the red slippers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was that was that was a classic, right? Really. Absolute like comedy gold. That it is a chilly one. Anyway, time to make some dinner. We had a few drinks, chilling out, having some banter, all that sort of game. He's a good lad, is that Mister Wardle? So, time to get this out. Get some food on the go. And I've got some really nice food tonight. I am having a full salmon dinner, hence why I have got a bottle of white wine to go with it. So we'll get this stove out, get some gas on, start cooking a banquet. Can you tell I've had a drink? There we go, look, there we go. Right, it's cold though, it is a cold night. It's not so much that it's a air temperature cold, it's the wind chill. It is just stripping us definitely of it. So I have the Sea to Summit 10 inch Alpha Pan, which is a beast. So I can pop that on there and hopefully cook everything in it. The only thing I can't cook is the Wait, my brain's not thinking. I can't cook that because I need to boil some water. So I'm going to sort everything out, cook everything in the pan, boil some water and then try and marry it up at the same time. A bit difficult on one stove to do that to get the timings right, but it's all about making a nice meal and we can do it up on a mountain. Right, we've got a constant, fairly low heat there, so bang the pan on. Make sure it's fairly stable. And I've got a little plastic bag here with some olive oil in, and it's in like a Valis and Hardin. <laughs> Read that, whatever that is. It's some sort of posh, like soap thing. And in here, it isn't so. It is some very much frozen oil oil doesn't really freeze it will not come out though I'm looking at that there so with olive oil when it gets to below 7 degrees it turns into a sort of semi-solid and this is what's happened here so I'm going to just sort of spoon a bit out of it you can see that that is olive oil in its semi-solid form. So we've got some oil in there, nice and hot. So we're gonna bang on this lovely salmon. Oh my God, this looks amazing. Straight away.
So we've got the salmon in there cooking away. Nice and steady. And just to help it along its way, I need a decent tool for that. And that is just using this. Which is just a spatula, foldable, lightweight. Perfect for taking camping really. That is looking good straight away. So next on the menu, as always, we have got some broccoli. Broccoli. Broccoli? Broccoli. <laughs> I never know how to pronounce it. So again, I'll get my knife out. Just chop this up a little bit smaller. And if I half it as well, it'll just cook a little bit better in the pan. Without chopping the fingers off. So I'm just going to add to that a little bit of salt. And a bit of black pepper. A lot of black pepper and then finally just onto the actual salmon itself we have a hot <coughs> original pepper sauce I don't know if you can see that I'm just gonna add a little bit of spice to it <coughs> god that pepper has just got to me there Oh my god, that pepper's right in my nose. <coughs> Jesus! <coughs> oh man. <laughs> Why salt's everything, eh? bit of water in there for my mash so let's get that boiling what I'm going to do is, is just pop the pan over the top so it acts like a lid but at the same time it's just going to sort of keep that warm as well so let's get out and have a look and see what Wardle's doing eh water's boiling now so I'm going to use that to make my mash this Idahoan what have we got butter and herb mash perfect to go with salmon I would say so let's rip this off and I'm going to pop it into my little mug I think I put the water in first and that afterwards so I'm going to transfer this from there bob that salmon back on just to get the heat going in that 
and I'm going to quickly put on my tomatoes, tomatoes, tomato. And we've got loads of vine tomatoes here, so we'll pop these straight on. Look at them, love that, love it. Perfect, that. They're all going in. I'll have one. Wow. I'll have two. Right, turn that gas off. And let's have a taste. Seriously, have a taste of that. Just wow. Proper salmon dinner on a mountain. Right, let's find me fighting irons. So I've got some spark here. And my mash. Let's have a taste of this mash first. That stuff is really good. Highly recommend it. To say that's just a powder. Tomatoes. <laughs> Can't beat them. Let's have a taste of this salmon. Look at that. is actually incredible. The salmon itself obviously tastes amazing but a bit of salt and pepper and that hot sort of peppered sauce that I had really add to it. So good. Broccoli, disgusting. Never have the stuff. Wow. So, a little bit more white wine just to add to that. Enhance that flavour. Drinking out of the most perfect cup for it. It's so uncouth. <laughs> I know, live my life like that. I don't need out fancy to feel happy. No way. Oh, that is good. Anyway, I'm gonna continue stuffing my face with this amazing meal. Let's get this flaky salmon in. Here we are, me and the old Wardle, the goat, and we have been chilling out for seven hours, chatting in my tent, pretty much seven hours. Seven. <laughs> it's been a good night. Had a few beers, a bit of wine, uh, nice food. I ate salmon dinner. What do you have? Fajit, not fajit. Chicken stir fry. Wraps. Ch chicken. Chicken stir fry. It's chicken stir fry, but I made, I made it into wraps because it just. It, just it did look good. It looked good. It was nice. Like. So yeah, it's been a nice night, hasn't it? Really good. Yeah. Mad. Enjoyed it, mate. In wild weather. Yeah, you can see tents flapping a bit because there is quite a wind coming through. But now we can't handle. I've uh, experienced a, a few wild nights and he's had thousands of wild nights. <laughs> Not all in a tent, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyway, it has been a pleasure, mate. And um, yeah, time to get to bed and- Lay this lug. Lay the, let's lay this yeah, lug, exactly pinched, that. Pinched your cash race. He watches, he watches, that's the main thing, isn't Nicked it? it? Yeah. No, I just, listen, I read the comments. <laughs> yeah. So we'll see you in the morning. Last words? I never give last words. Nah. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Oh,
hours. Well, I want a bad night's sleep considering the wind rattling this tent about. It's been a constant sort of 30 mile an hour plus really. And it woke me a couple of times in the night, but I've slept pretty well, so I'm quite content. I have got a face like a screwed up paper bag <laughs> after having a few drinks last night. But not a bad morning to wake up there. Not a bad view at all. Anyway, I'm going to make myself a cup of tea and sit and chill with that, have a chat with Andy lad and then um, we'll pack up and get ourselves off this mountain. Awesome, eh? Bag is packed, ready to go, just the tent to drop now. It is cold, soon I've taken that, that down jacket off and the down bottoms, bitter out here. Oh, let's get out and see what Andy's doing. Let's have a nosy. Because I think I'm going to end up on me. Yeah, worth doing mate. Bottom on that track. Yeah, if you look, all this here is just turned to ice. So it is a bit slippy and we have to descend down there. Let him go. I can't catch him. That's it. I'm at the limit now. Heart rate 280. I'll tell you what, <laughs> you've been training, mate. It's all that running you've been doing. It's awesome. There we are then, the end of another adventure out in the beautiful Lake District with this legend, the real goat, greatest of all time. Andy Wardle. So make sure you check out his channel, he's absolutely awesome. Every single video he does is just Nuts. salt of the earth. <laughs> it's like 
you know, there's just an honest video. That's the best thing about it. So, anyway, it's been a pleasure, mate. You too. And uh, we will definitely be getting out on a, another camp fairly soon. Um, it's been a long time coming, this one, really, on it. So, yeah. Anyway, if you have liked the video, give it one of those. Watch his video, give his one of those. And um, yeah, if you want to contribute to the channel at all, then you can do so by buying me a coffee in the buy me a coffee link. And there is the Patreon you can join and join me on Instagram as well. Do everything you can for this guy. Again, legend. Anyway, from me and the beautiful goat, we'll see you another time. Take care.